Tonight we make history by having the first female analyst ever in an NFL broadcast booth, Leslie Visser. The sports world knows Leslie Visser as one of its most experienced and talented broadcasters. The only woman in the Pro Football Hall of Fame and a mentor from day one for me in the industry. During her 30-year career as a reporter and sportscaster, Leslie Visser has owned the mantle of the first. She became the first woman assigned to a Super Bowl and in 1992 was the first to preside over a Super Bowl trophy presentation. In 1998, she broke new ground, becoming the first female sideline reporter on Monday Night Football. Another new member of our crew this year. Great to have with us and working the sidelines, Leslie Visser. Hi, Leslie. Thank you very much, Al. Really glad to be here. Leslie began her career as a reporter for the Boston Globe in 1974, and two years later was the first female NFL beat writer at a time when no women or children allowed in the press box was the standard. Years ago, women were not accepted in any facet of sports television. There were no female producers, there were no female directors, and for someone to break into the most prominent position, which is being someone in front of the camera, really took an awful lot. I don't think there's any question that women in sports television have come a long way since Leslie first started at CBS, and she has a lot to do with that. She is the only sportscaster in history to work on network broadcasts of the Final Four, Super Bowl, World Series, NBA Finals, the Olympic Winter Games, U.S. Open Tennis, the World Figure Skating Championships, and Horse Racing's Triple Crown. You felt like you were speaking to not only a reporter, a friend, someone you knew for 50 years, but someone that you could trust in the business. And she could get to the heart of the story probably quicker than anyone else because of her wit and her charm. With the agility to handle any assignment, Leslie has gained a reputation for being both knowledgeable and compassionate. Anyone come completely back from an ACL? Yeah, I think so. Name two. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Huizinger asked me if, if I would consider trying to put a structure in place that would allow this place to go forward. You know, my, my approach has always been to take it, you know, one game at a time and then see how it all works out at the end. How's that going? <laughs> <laughs> Not real good the last few weeks. Jim, Bob Knight is here. Bob, how are you able to defeat Temple? We scored more points than they did. That's something that you may have missed in the news media, that the team, when the buzzer blows... Yeah, 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 yeah. How did you get, how'd you get around the matchup zone? What did you tell your kids? But I think they'll bring back another quarterback. I think either Garcia or A.J. Feely, both who played with the Eagles, I think you'll see them return. But down the road, I, I believe we will see more of Michael Vick. Leslie Visser joins us in the booth for the fourth quarter. Nat Moore, of course, uh, the great Miami Dolphin receiver. And Leslie Visser, the first female into the uh, NFL Hall of Fame. It's good to have you. Yeah, I love being here. I got a, a text from Bob, and he said that to make sure that Nat doesn't always blame the quarterback. <laughs> she is one of the all-time favorite people I've ever been able to meet in my life in this business. And it is such an honor to have her back at CBS, part of the NFL today, and to call on her friendship something I value a great deal. I know honestly that I want to hear what people are saying. I want to know what that person really thinks. When people ask me where did I get the courage to get off the boat and clear the land, I always think of the words of the great Billie Jean King who once told me, pressure is a privilege. So I would like to thank all of you for the pressure and the privilege. Being the first woman in the Hall of Fame is something really stunning. But I just started as someone who just, like everybody watching today, loved sports.